I use the dryers and my clothes <clears throat> now smell burnt and like human piss. Stairwell that goes nowhere. It's like secret areas like back here. I think I look back. Hey guys, we're over here in the warehouse behind my laundromat. Um, today I want to make a quick video. I own a bunch of real estate and uh, or in income properties and I was thinking about turning uh, one of my vacant spaces, it used to be an old bar, into another laundromat. So we're gonna go over there and uh, look at the place and uh, see kind of you know what it's gonna take to convert this into a laundromat, um, kind of the, the general layout that I was thinking in my head. And uh, we'll do like a full tour over there and uh, see what the next steps are to get that running. But there's a couple things I wanna talk about beforehand. Uh, just general laundromat day-to-day -day stuff. I got a call a couple days ago from a lady that was kind of upset. I got my number posted right at the laundromat, so anybody can call my cell at any time in case there's a problem. So she calls me and says that uh, the washer's not working correctly. She used four big ones, and uh, she put some blankets in there that were f filled with urine, and uh, they came out smelling like urine. So I was kind of busy at the time um, doing some other stuff, so I'm like, oh, I'll just leave a note in the mailbox and we'll refund your money uh, just because I don't have time to investigate and for most problems like that I just give refunds it's not a big deal um, you know I don't want anybody mad at, at the laundromat for any reason because you always hear these stories where someone steals their money and uh, you know they lose their money laundromat then they start talking bad about it or go over there and vandalize the place or you know whatever for 30 bucks um, who knows she probably she ended up probably not using the washer right um, the big front load washers you have to put the soap in on top and a lot of people want to put the soap in the front so it's I'm sure that's what she did because uh, you know these are brand new washers um, and they they'll clean uh, you know no problem so if she did it right it would probably uh, came out clean so she probably ended up not doing it right but anyways so the next day she left the comment card and uh, this is what she wrote in the comment card I don't know if you can see it here I use the dryers and my clothes <clears throat> now smell burnt and like human piss. So over the phone she said that, you know, her kid went to bed and they, she tried to wash him and uh, it didn't come out of the, the smell didn't come out. But in her comment card she said that, you know, the washers made it smell like that. So we actually looked at the washers and they actually the washers smelled really bad so we ended up cleaning those but, um, you know, how quick the story changes and then she left a note for a refund. I'm not going to show you this just because it has her name on there. Um, but she wanted $30 back, which um, I don't think all the machines added up is $30, but I'm just going to send her the 30 bucks back, make her happy, and uh, you know, kind of close that. I'm probably getting screwed here because she probably only ended up spending like $24 or you know, some of her clothes got washed, but not all of them. But I'm just gonna send it back to her, keep this, you know, close this case, and not worry about like little penny any stuff. All right, so we're over here outside the building. Let's take a look at it, and I kind of explain the layout of the building and uh, go from there. So let's see here. And I apologize, I'm in my car taking this video. There might be some cars driving by and stuff. So here's the building. It's actually a four-unit building. Uh, over here is the commercial space. There's a one-bedroom apartment down here a two bedroom apartment up here, and a th three bedroom apartment over here. So the building's actually, I think, 10,000 square feet. It goes back, I mean, actually, no, not 10,000, 6,000 square feet. It goes back a good distance, but my plan was to maybe put a laundromat right here. Obviously, got to update the awnings, you know, a quick paint job for the building. Uh, but, uh, you know, this was an old, actually, bar. So maybe put a nice awning here, get some nice lights out front. Um, that'd be the entrance, and it's about I think 2,500, maybe a little less square footage inside. Um, it actually looks a little, you know, bigger inside because it does go behind uh, the store right here for the commercial section. So we're gonna go inside, take a look at what we got to do. Um, I do have some plans kind of drawn up roughly, and we can see uh, what it would take uh, and what we have to do to get the process started. So let's go. Alright, so we're inside. This is actually the front door. And I apologize for the low light. There's just not a lot of lights in here. Um, used to have a drop ceiling. 
this is the old bar. So let me get up here and get a picture of the whole thing. It doesn't look that big on camera, but uh, it looks like about 25 by 40. So I guess it wasn't a 2,000 square feet, probably a lot less, especially with that back area. This back area is for the bathrooms and the kitchen. I'll probably keep that wall up and just put a uh, metal door right there. Maybe the change machine's right there, but uh, let's see here. This is the front, the front windows, there's my truck. So we probably have to update this door. It's like a big old metal wood door. see what kind of handle yeah handles all gone just got a deadbolt on there for now so this whole bar has got to go I'm not putting a bar back down here um, if anything I could rent out the space as a commercial space or you know put the laundromat in depending on uh, how much my costs are gonna be but this used to be a nice little tiki bar area this is the main bar This is this used to be part of the bar, but they started studying it out for a uh, one-bedroom apartment. And I'll show you the plans in a minute, but it's really dark over here. You can't really see. It's all studded out, and they ran the electrical, but um, hasn't had much since then. So this is the space again. I believe they had a big furnace over here for the bar. They. The last owners took that out, but here's the space. Let's look behind me there. They had the washer dryer over here for some reason, but let's look at the plans and uh, see what they were planning on doing. So here's the building itself. This is the area we're in now. This is the one bedroom apartment. And this is the back area with the kitchen, the bathrooms for the bar downstairs. Survey, that kitchen. And this was the plan that my distributor helped me make up for the laundromat. So he wanted some tables here, seating here, uh, pot machines, uh, Three small washers, two big washers, and four uh, 40 pound washers. I believe these are all soft mounts. There's a basement under here in this building, so we really can't base down to the floor. So folding tables in the center, and then dryers in this wall, vented right behind outside. And then, you know, change machine, soap machine, door, which would be on this wall right here. And I could put a big metal security door there. And I'll probably even put the change machine here, soap machine, etc. Um, but all this stuff would have to come down. Uh, I believe they're going to make me put up a 5 inch drywall on top because this is a commercial space. And there's a residential space upstairs. But this is pretty much uh, here's the old sign from the old bar we took down from out front. Uh, let's see the back kitchen area and the bathrooms and stuff. Seems a bit light. Yeah, barely. Okay, this was like the men's bathroom. Woman's bathroom. Kitchen. You see the light? Yep. This is the old kitchen. shelves and then this goes down to the basement so that's the bar area let's go down in the basement and see uh, the mechanicals and see if it's uh, even possible to get uh, 
enough utilities here to uh, build what we need to do. So this is actually a really huge basement. Let's do a little quick uh, walk around. That was the old walk-in uh, freezer for the bar. Electric panels, an old dresser. Nothing in there. So the one part was an addition. So there's a foundation wall here. There's also like secret areas like back here. I think I looked back here one time. Who knows what all this stuff is? This is the old walk in freezer. You can't see it too well. It's dark. Who knows what that door goes to? Uh, this is an addition. Stairwell that goes nowhere. And then a bunch of other uh, crap. So let's see what kind of uh, mechanicals we have. I'm not worried about the power. Uh, where is the power box for the bar? I don't know exactly what voltage, but I always think the power is the easiest thing to get here. Even if we've got to run uh, a bigger line, you know, 5,000 or less to uh, get more voltage. But I think for the size of the laundromat we're getting, uh, we, I mean, the size of the laundromat that we want to put in there, it won't need much more power. Let's see gas. So I don't know what. It looks like we got one inch coming in. It's hard to see, but right here. And then that goes to different meters. Uh, where's the, okay, this one. So it does go from one inch and then drops down to three quarter right there. So I'd have to check on that too. Uh, the one inch. The water line might be the biggest problem. So here's the line coming in from the street. Um, that is, looks like inch and a quarter. And then it drops down here to three quarters. And then it comes back up to one inch. And then, uh, sorry, the image is so bad. It's kind of dark down here. Um, so if we do need more, you know, where does that gas go to? Uh, if we do need a bigger gas line or a bigger water line, the street's only about 10 feet from the sidewalk here, so I don't think it'd be too expensive to uh, upgrade those. But we don't want to be starving for gas or starving for uh, electric, so uh, we might have to look into that depending on how much equipment we get in the laundromat. Okay, that's about it for this video. Um, my next steps would probably be get, call the utility companies and ask them, uh, you know, what kind of uh, steps I need to take to if I have to upgrade the utilities. Um, also, too, I want to go down to the building department and make sure this is zoned for that and kind of just shoot some ideas off them and make sure that um, they're not going to give me any problems along the way. So that's where we're at, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, if you can, please like the video and uh, subscribe if you want more content like this. Thanks.